There's a killer on the loose. What would you do if you knew that there was a killer on the loose? Would you call the police and tell them that you knew there was a killer on the loose if you knew the police could find the killer? Would you call the police and tell them that you had the killer's address if you knew the police could go to that address? Would you expect the police to go to that address and arrest the killer if they had the name, they had the address of the killer? If police know that somebody has killed somebody else and has done so without it being in self-defense, would you expect the police to go and arrest that killer? Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. Now, why am I asking that question? Rayshard Brooks was killed Friday night in Atlanta, Georgia. It is now Monday afternoon. Rayshard Brooks' killer was a cop, was an Atlanta police officer. He was fired. The Atlanta Police Department has always known his name. They have always known where he lived. They have his personnel file. He has not been arrested. Remember what I started out with? If you knew that was a, there was a killer on the loose and you knew where the killer was, would you expect the killer to arrest, to be arrested by the police? And yes, you would, unless you're the Atlanta Police Department. I applaud the mayor of Atlanta for firing, uh, for firing the officer involved. I am glad that officer is fired. The officer should not have been hired. Anybody who does not have enough judgment to refrain from shooting somebody in the back should never be hired, okay? So that talks about the person who screened them, hired him, trained him, and put him on the street. But now he's fired good. Now, why hadn't he been arrested? And how long will it take before the cop gets arrested, the ex-cop gets arrested? And how long would it have taken if there had been a civilian who killed somebody, who shot somebody in the back, before that person was arrested? When this kind of result happens for cops and it doesn't happen for civilians, that's when we know we don't have a justice system. We have a cop kill permission system. Cops are licensed to kill people and are licensed to kill people with impunity. And that's why people are in the streets. That's why people are up, uh, upset. And we should be. Everyone should be. And most of all, police officers should be. Police officers should be upset that a killer, any killer, can walk around after having shot and killed somebody in the back with the assurance that he or she will not be stopped and taken into custody by any police officer. That's something worth being mad about, why aren't we? 